Continuous roll development. So we're going to learn the first steps on how you put a drum roll together and what you have to do to achieve that. So the first thing we need to do is how we hit the drumstick now. So we've been doing bouncy ball beats up to now. But what we have to do now is do something different. We have to compress the stick down now and push it into the pad till you get a sound like that. And we call that a buzz tap. So again, you compress the stick down, but you don't hold the stick too tight. You just lean down on it. And you don't lean too heavy because you'll kill the buzz. So it's that little bit in between a bouncy ball and kill. And you get a nice buzz sound. So that's it in your right hand, which is your pinch grip. So now let's try it in the left hand. So again, just lean your wrist and your thumb on the stick and get that nice buzz sound. So by looking at our notes, you can see we have two little squiggly lines in the middle of the stem of the note, the bit of the note that points down, not the head, the bit that points down. There's two little squiggly lines. So when you see them two wee squiggly lines in a note, that means it's a buzz tap in that note or it could be the start of a drum roll, okay? So the whole notes in the first line are all crotchets. So let's play the crotchet rhythm in buzz taps. And we'll do it with the count first, after two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Okay? So the second line in the continuous roll development, you can see by looking at the notes, there's a line joining them together at the bottom. This tells us obviously that the notes are now quavers, so we're going to play a quaver rhythm in buzz taps. And again we'll do it with the count. So starting with our pinch grip hand, after two, one, two, one and two and one and two and one and two and one and two and stop. Okay? Line three, you can see the notes now have two lines joining them together. So we're now going to play the semi quaver rhythm in buzz taps. So again, starting with the pinch grip hand, and we'll say it in the count of one A and A. So after two, one, two. 1 A and D, 2 A and D, 1 A and D, 2 A and D, 1 A and D, 2 A and D, A and D, 2 A and D, stop. So as you can hear now, when you play the semi quaver rhythm in buzz taps, you basically don't have any break in the sound. It all sounds continuous. So this is what we have to do to play a drum roll. If you play any less, like the quaver rhythm that we played just previously and the crotchet rhythm, there's too big a gaps between the buzz taps. So that does not give you a drum roll sound. So to play a drum roll sound, you've got to play a minimum of a four semi quaver buzz tap rhythm. Anything less will not be a drum roll. So the drum roll sound again has to be like this. After two, one, two. One A and D, two A and D. One A and D, two A and D. One A and D, two A and D. A and D, two A and D, stop. Okay? The next thing you see will be a slur line. A slur line is how we connect the drum roll from one note to the next, or how we write it. So, unlike we've seen in the previous line, where we had your four buzz taps all played together, and that made a drum roll sound, we've seen all the buzz taps. Now, whenever you go to read drum rolls or write drum rolls, you do not see all the buzz taps. It connects the slur line, goes from a buzz tap note, to the next note and that's what tells you the drum roll goes from one note to the next. So if we look at the first abbreviation there we've got a buzz tap sign on your crotchet note and the slur line going to the second note. So that basically means you've got to do a drum roll from one note to the second note. So to play that drum roll because of what we've learned previously there we now know we've got to play four semi quaver buzz taps to get to the next note. So we see the first one with the buzz tap sign but we don't see the next two, three, and four, and then we're on to the next note. So you only see the first one, 
and you don't see the next two, three, and four. So if we go down to the next line, you can see there's a lot of crotchet notes and a lot of slower lines right across the line. So you basically have your first crotchet note with a buzz top sign, and then you have the slower line going to your second note. It has a buzz top sign, and the slower line goes to the third note. It has a buzz top sign, it goes to the fourth note, buzz top sign, fifth note it goes to, and so on. So basically, to go from one note to the next note every time, you've got to play four buzz tops, four semi-quiver buzz tops. So you always see the first one. So your first crotchet will be number one. And then the slur line, between the slur line and the next note, you're going to play buzz two, three, and four also. And then when you get to the second note, that's going to be your second, you're going to go, that's going to be your second buzz top sign. You're going to see that one, and that starts your one, two, three, four again. So you're going to say that one like this, basically. One, two, three, sorry, one A and A, two A and A. And then you're in the next bar, and you're, the slur line's going to do that again. So it's going to be one A and A, two A and A again, and then one A and A, two A and A again, right across that page. So it does not stop, because the slur lines are going straight across to every note, okay? So you can set it like that with the, with the one A and A rhythm because it's a semi-quiver buzz top rhythm you have to play to it. Or you can say it quite simply like this. Buzz, 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 buzz. Just wee things, just wee tips to help you do it. But drum rolls are quite complicated at the start, especially to read, because you do not see everything you play, okay? So if I was to play it with my drumsticks, and I'll say it in the one A and A semi-quaver rhythm. Every time I say a number, I'm on the next note, if that makes sense to you. You don't see the A and A, which is the second, third, and fourth buzz every time. So let me play it for you. Start with your pen script. One, two. One A and A, two A and A. One A and A, two A and A. One A and A, two A and A. A and A, two A and A, stop. Hopefully that makes sense to you.